Okay, so my coworker gave me his son's PS4. It says it runs for about five minutes and then just shuts itself off. Immediately, to me, that sounds like an overheating issue. But of course, in all the wisdom of my coworker, he didn't give me any cables, no nothing. So we're going in here blind and we're going to see if it's an overheating issue without even turning it on. And then give it back to him and see what happens. Because I have nothing to work with here other than the case itself. But, yeah, there really isn't much to it. But here's the first sign. If I can refocus here a little bit. Yeah. Look at all of that dust that's built up in there. And the funny thing is, I've been to my co-worker's house. He's not a dirty, his family is not a dirty people. Actually, their house is even cleaner than mine. I like to say my house is fairly clean. This was always sitting on the floor. So let me refocus one more time here. Yeah. They always had this sitting on the floor. So even with a clean house, you never put electronics, a console, a computer, anything that has a fan sucking stuff in on the floor because it will inevitably get clogged. So I'm going into this today thinking that the cooling fan is completely clogged with dust bunnies galore. So let's see if we can tear into this and see if exactly if that's the problem. Okay, I finally got the top off and yeah, this matches up with, yeah, like that. So you can see all the dust that we saw here initially. The fan blades don't look too bad, but let me get all this metal stuff off of here first. And hopefully we can lift it up and get it out of the way and actually see what's going on here. There we go. Got the piece of metal out. Okay. I guess I don't really need that up too far. So we got the fan. It is a little dirty. The intake's a little dirty. The cooling fins are partially blocked, but it's not too bad. So... I guess that's all we're going to do is just clean that up right now and see what the heck happens. Uh, I would like to get down to the CPU and repaste it, but I don't know how to get that far in this thing because, oh my God, it's so convoluted just to get into it at all. Okay, so I got the motherboard off from down below. And yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but basically it sort of lines up like this right here so there really isn't anything below the cooling fan it's basically the heat sink passes right through here this is where the cpu slash gpu does a direct attach you can tell of course um yeah that stuff is pretty much dried i'm actually it's a little liquid but it, it sucks we're going to repaste that but there's no dust to say underneath here we have a few um thermal conductive pads for whatever this chip is here, you can see the silicon that's been leaking out of the pad right around this chip right here. Um, looks like we're also cooling this one down here and also the VRM. We got three, I guess, three-stage VRM. I'm not sure, but we're also cooling those right here as well. And they're using this main piece of metal also as another heat sink. So let's repaste this. We'll flip it back over. We'll blow the dust out of it. And um, I guess we'll call this good. And in case anyone's wondering, yeah, Walmart, four bucks or so, right in the automotive section, QD electronic cleaner. Perfectly fine for electronics. Doesn't leave any real residue. So, works out beautifully. You just gotta be careful. We got all these resist, uh, actually no, these are capacitor networks on here. We don't wanna knock them loose, but we do wanna get all this old crud off of here. be more than enough okay now to put this back together you got to watch these two power pins because they hold down the board pretty good so let's line that up correctly okay so i got the back rf shield and all the cables put back together so let's flip it back over now onto the top and yeah, you can see a bit of the mess there. Let me get a better light here. Yeah, you can see it's stuck there in those fins. It's not that bad. I've seen a lot worse on other, like, laptops and stuff. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of factors that's making it overheat or something. So, let's blow it out. 
Sometimes the brush is good for the stuff that's really stuck on those fins. Don't let the fan overspin. You might be so tempted to do something like that, you can actually overspin it and blow the bearings in it. So, yeah. A little spin, okay. If it starts whining because it's spinning so fast, chances are you've damaged the fan. So don't do that, however much fun it might be. Okay, let's uh, close it up because that's about as clean as it's going to get. Okay, and it looks like I got it back together. All sealed. Made it look like it wasn't tampered with. The label went right back on perfectly fine. Uh, hard drive is back in there, and it's all together. And I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, some little metal thing, and some other metal thing, which didn't make it back into the case. Because I have no freaking clue where they went. Yes, this was half of a parody video. Half of, um, this is why you don't leave stuff on the floor. Because now the vents are nice and clean everywhere. So, I gotta go take this back to my friend and uh, I'll make a final here real quick to let you know if it works or if I broke it. Okay, so now it's the next day. Trust You're gonna have to trust me on that, that it's the next day. Um, my coworker said that his son played on it for an hour and a half last night. No problems whatsoever. No overheating, no shutting off after five or ten minutes. So, sorry this video was not like an I fix it how to take apart your PS4. The moral of the story of this video is don't keep your running electronics on the ground or you're going to get clogged with dust. And also, as a kicker, the PS4 has really crappy paste job for the CPU and heatsink. So if you're gonna take it apart to clean off the dust, you might as well tear it all the way apart and repaste it and be done with it and never have to open it again. If you like this video, thumbs up please. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And have a good day. Mm -hmm.